I'm going to tell you how to get your dream job. I hope you're listening. This is the way to get your dream job. It's how I got my dream job. It's how I really got started in media and marketing and consulting and news. And I want to tell you how you can do it. In fact, it's how I got started, period. The way to get your dream job is to volunteer for it. That's how you do it. There's no secret. That's how you do it. Forget about these online sites where you're sending your resume. Forget about uh, trying to stand in line with a group of people who are talking about their qualifications. Forget about the interviews. Forget about all that. You've got to find the person who uh, is a power person and you got to start working for that person. That's what I did. I remember I was working in a, a company and part of my job was to support another department. And this other department had a manager who had just come in, who was a high powered guy. He was a very senior guy. And one of the things I had to do was write correspondence for this other department. I was in sort of the finance side of things and they were in the uh, sales and marketing side of things, and we would look after accounts. And I would write uh, documents that would go to these clients about their fin financial uh, relationship with the company, the media company that I was in. And I would go down to the office, and I was fascinated by this new manager, and we would talk about the business. We'd talk about what was going on in the market, how the cable industry was growing, what was happening in broadcast television, some of the moves we are going to make in media. And I decided that I was going to start supporting this executive far beyond what I was required to do. I would give him ideas. I would come in into strategies. I would write documents, proposals. I would say, hey, here's a new idea. Here's a new approach. I'd send him articles. And I spent a lot of time in his office working with him on things that I wasn't getting paid to do. My boss, in fact, who was in another department, got very concerned about how much time I was spending there. But frankly, that was a department I wanted to be in. And finally, this fellow who was a rising star in the company, the guy who I was doing all the volunteering with, came to my boss and said, hey, you know what? I'd like to have Andre on my team. I've got an opening and I want to put him in this slot. It was a slot that I didn't even have experience in, but because I had volunteered and demonstrated such competency, such interest and such commitment to this executive and to these ideas, he said, I want you in this spot. My boss came to me and he says, wow, this uh, guy thinks that you're going to leave my department and go work for him. Boy, isn't that something? And I said, well, you know what? That is what I want to do because I like working in this other group. The result was I moved to this other department. I moved into a spot that I wanted to be in. And it wasn't long before I was promoted several rungs on the ladder and wound up leading a division. Uh, and that just completely changed my career. So what was the secret to that? I volunteered. I walked into the guy's office, I introduced myself, I let him know what I was capable of doing, and he began to see that I was a person that could help him get things done. You can do that anywhere that you are, even if you're not inside of an organization. Find somebody who's high-powered, connect with them, start working for them, and what you're going to find is they're going to give you your dream job.